you've been dreaming of having a conversation with them, either you're pregnant, <laughs> or how much... Okay, what is this? So you're always thinking about them. That's one. You're looking forward to seeing them. I feel like they're going to talk to you. I mean, like if that's what you want to do here, yeah, they will talk to you. They like you. They have feelings for you. Oh, I see. But they keep changing their mind. And that's why you don't want to continue this. I see. So it's the flakiness that your person, basically that's where your problem is. So more flaky than okay, Balthazar's at Soho. Croissant. Mm -hmm. Saj, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, finances, and your relationship. I haven't messaged, you know, people today because I've been busy, but I will message them every, everyone in the in the app. So download it. It's available in Apple and Android. And for the people who likes to text, you can text, you can join the group by texting join. There's a number flashing. Now, oh, that's where I do my coaching. Free. It's free. Queen of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. See, you're looking forward to talking to them. But if it's the same thing, why are we still talking? So you want things to evolve with the Wheel of Fortune. This is luck, opportunities, expansion, and growth. This is you determined to see. Like, I want to see you and I want things to change. A Queen of Swords has been hurt. So, you're basically here saying that I can't. Like, I need, I need to see some change in our life or in this relationship. Moon with the Empress. This is what you're clarifying also. You can't tell me you love me, you care for me, and then do other things. Meaning, not make this relationship a priority. The Moon and the Empress also shows that in your situation, you want things to be set. If you love me, you, you know, the Moon is need, yes. So you need something... Um, nurture, care, attention, but you're not like that though. I feel like you want something tangible because Queen of Swords is practical. So it's not about like, oh, take me out on a date. No, not like that. You want to be assured. So if it's the next stage of the relationship, oh, are we seeing each other? Are we just talking? Are we exclusive? What is this really, right? And if you're dating, it's like, are we even going to get married? What do you think of me? Two of Cups with the Empress. Do you see the future with me? Mm -hmm. Can be connecting with a Sag also, Cancerian, Taurus, or Libra. And then there's the Leo. Yep. Because lately, your person has been giving you only what we call the breadcrumbs. Six of Pentacles. So this is the reason why you're determined to have this conversation. Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Let's have a talk, right? Six of Pentacles right here is showing, okay, what do we need to talk about? Well, the amount of energy and effort that you give. I don't want to beg. I don't want to wait. I don't want to this. I don't, the Queen of Swords has a lot of requirements. Because Six of Pentacles is not satisfying your needs. Now... I'm not sure if you are aware, Sag, there's a difference between needs, right? Wants and expectation. So if you can determine what is your needs, what are your wants, and the expectation. Because the expectation is normally what we think that we should be having every time. But we never speak of it and it becomes a problem. That's expectation set inside here. We didn't tell to our partner or a person or who we love and we expect them to do that, it sets them up to, be, to fail. The need is I need you to be at home at 9 because we're having dinner. I need you there, right? The need is I need you to split the bill. Rent is coming, Six of Pentacles. The want, of course, is more of a demand, okay? Because the need is the practical. We need this in our life, okay? We need this to sustain the relationship. Now, the want is different. That's the extra, you know? I want us to go on a vacation, but you don't expect them to pay for it, but you need to split it with them. Needs, expectations, and then wants, okay? So if you can sort it out with them, because I don't want you to get lost in translation with them, 
because I feel like it's good. You have a two of cups. You know, this is a soulmate card. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today. Get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. So that's the two of cups, right? The soulmate. Now you have a wheel of fortune. Luck, love, abundance, prosperity, expansion, and growth. This is what you're trying to attract. And you're going to attract that for sure. And it just so happened, today is our last day for our natural citrine black obsidian double piao. Because it is the Lunar New Year, just in case you didn't know. Okay, um, In celebration, um, if you get the natural citrine black obsidian double piao bracelet, you get, of course, this whole set. The red thread. Real gold soulmate bracelet, a money magnet charm, and as a personal touch, of course, a lucky money envelope. This one is a personal touch. You can't get this anywhere because it's coming from me. So I'm going to put money inside this, in this envelope, and then don't ever open it, okay? I'll put a dollar bill there, and then put it in your wallet, or put it in a money corner of your house, and then it's going to attract more wealth and luck. So they say that remedies or certain things that you use to attract you know, certain things, it's more, um, how do you call this? It's more effective if it's given by someone else. So that's why I want to give this to you. And, <laughs> of course, I'll wrap it specially for you. Check it out. I tag in a card of this video. Today's the last day because I have to start working on it. And we do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And it's available right there, okay? Last day, guys, okay? I cannot keep doing this. I have to do readings. Mm. Four of Swords. Well, you got them thinking, I feel. Four of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. And King of Cups, can be Scorpio, Hermit. They don't know how to respond to the needs, wants, and expectation. Okay. Because um, expectation is a lot. Okay. Expectation of society, your expectation, you know. I don't live to nobody's expectation. I live for myself. That's why I'm happy. Because if you're always going to try to be, you know, and you know, they expect, nah, no, no, no. I, I have things that I have to do for myself. I only set my expectation for myself. Yes. And when I coach, you know, I try also to tell people don't have expectations with humans because we're humans. We're not perfect. So to expect something to an imperfect being, it's like we know it's not going to work. You understand me? You expected them to be caring, loving, but there are times that probably they're not going to be caring, loving, but that's your expectation. So if you remove that expectation, if they're loving, you accept. If they're not loving that day, you still accept. You're there. No high, no low, but here. Mm -hmm. That's how you keep life long. No high, no low, but here. You live for the high, because when it's low, ooh. but when you're here, every day is going to be okay. Now, I want to know, because your person, of course, has been ignoring you with a hermit. They haven't been really talking to you with a hermit. It could be a Virgo, Libra, or Taurus. But with the hundreds of orders that I got yesterday, I won't be able to. So tomorrow, we'll touch the subject again. I'll see you guys, Sag. I hope you guys have a wonderful Lunar New Year.